the uh, con on many continents all over all around the world. Uh, and but there are some questions that we should ask that still are not completely settled. One is whole mushrooms are isolated constituents because some companies out there are saying one fraction is better than another fraction, like maitake D fraction. I don't believe that at all for one minute. I think that it's important to have the whole mushroom. And most herbalists are of that thinking, I'm sure. Um, but it's up to you. You can try one that is more fractionated or purified. Smaller pieces of the molecules are larger. I think larger are more effective. Fruiting body or mycelium, I have no doubt that the fruiting body is better than the mycelium products. However, the mycelium products can be good in some cases, like in cordyceps, for instance. Fresh versus dry, I don't think it makes any difference. Dose. The dose is really important. The dose, you want to get enough, to, because many of these mitogens, they're, they're called mitogens, which are short-term immunological stimulants for the body. So mitogens, uh, they have to be taken frequently. They have to be taken two or three times a day for maximum effect. And they have to be taken continuously. You do get some residual effects with medicinal mushrooms, but for the most part, I think the, the main window of activity is about six hours, six to eight hours. So you want to take them more frequently. For just for prevention and health giving benefits, you could probably take it once or twice a day will give you some benefits. However, if you have something like a herpes outbreaks or, or you know, cancer or something like that, you want to take it three times a day is more effective. But at least twice a day, morning and evening, is important. What is a mycelium? The mycelium is the vegetative part of a, of a fungi. They're white threads that um, that work their way into bark, into wood, that that grow into the soil, long filamentous threads that work their way into the soil, and secrete enzymes that break down decaying matter, their saprophytes, or they're getting into the wood of a tree, a dying tree, and digesting the, the cellulose and lignin and so forth. So, and then at some point, the mycelium is going to mass up when conditions are right, namely lots of water and so forth, and then they're going to produce a fruiting body, and that's the mushroom. Okay. So uh, the dose has to be high enough to trigger a good re immune response, and that is going to be at least in my opinion, of an extract, at least about two or three grams per day. Two or three grams per day. That's the minimum, up to about six grams per day. Of a five to one extract. Yeah. Um, you mentioned herbalists, um, and I'm wondering, because um, I don't, I'm not sure on my own if I can do the whole process. I probably can, I guess, but if I wanted to go to an herbalist and get mushrooms, um, with mushroom powder, or like you're talking about the dose. <coughs> Do you know of one in the area? Uh, well, Kathy would know. Kathy could be all stand up, Kathy. Kathy's a, a pretty, probably the most renowned local herbalist here. She, she, she gives herbal classes, and she's got a beautiful farm. And so talk to Kathy. She's, she knows, she's well connected in the area here. And she great, it gives great classes if you want to learn more about how to make products and extracts and essential oils and, and growing herbs, the whole, everything. She's, she's well connected. Kathy's last name. Cavill, Kathy Cavill. Okay.